Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and in this video I'm going to explain how to convert text to dates with the text to columns feature. So here we have a data set that's been exported from QuickBooks Online and in column A here we have some dates. However, these dates are actually stored as text and Excel is not recognizing these as dates. There's a few ways to see that. One quick way is by turning the filters on and if we hit the filter drop down menu here we can see we just have a bunch of dates here or what looks like dates, but typically these would be grouped into years and months in the filter drop-down menu. Uh, another way to see this is on the home tab of the ribbon with that cell selected that contains a date. If we hit the number format drop-down here, we can see in the preview, we get the same date all the way down. So typically if this was a date, you'd see a number here. You'd also see the date in the short date and the long date preview would be a different version of that date. So we need to convert this to an actual date value that Excel recognizes. Now in a previous video, I explained how to do this with the find and replace. It's a little trick with find and replace. However, quite a few people, uh, Peter, Simon, Ashish, and Carl, reported that it wasn't working for them. That find and replace wasn't working for them. And that's because their local date format is different from the date format in the data set. So here we have US-based dates, uh, dates with month, day, and year here. Uh, but your local date format might be different. And that's actually a setting on your computer, on your operating system. In my case, I'm using Windows. So that's a setting in Windows. I'll pull up the settings here, the region settings within Windows. And if we scroll down here a bit, oh, here we go. We can see the regional format is English United States. And my short date, again, is month, day, year. Now I can change this. I'm going to go ahead and change this. Uh, to the UK or United Kingdom based dates and those uh, short date is day month year instead. So we'll go ahead and leave that as is for now just to show how this works. So if those two are different, again the date formats are different, we can use text to columns to uh, convert this to a date. So the first thing we're going to do is select all the cells that contain a date. I'm first going to select this one here. I'm going to use control shift down arrow to select uh, all the way down to the last cell here. And then we're going to go to the data tab on the ribbon and go to text to columns and that'll open the text to columns wizard and here in step one we're just going to choose delimited if it's not already selected we'll hit next there for step two we don't really need to specify a delimiter here because we're not actually going to split the column in this step here you could split the column but we're not going to do that so you can uh, leave tab checked and don't check anything else and then hit next and then in step three, we're going to select a date here. For the column data format, we're going to choose date. And this is where we choose the actual date format. So our dates are in the month, day, year format instead. So we want to select that because again, that's the format that our dates are currently in here, month, day, year. So we'll select that one and then we'll hit finish. And that will do the conversion process for us. Now we can see that we have uh, day, month, year here as the format. If we hit the filter drop down menu, we can now see our dates are all grouped by year and month. And so that lets us know that these are dates. We can also go to the home tab on the ribbon, go to the number format drop down. Now we'll see the number value for the date. If you're not sure what this is, I have a, a article that explains more about this and how the date system works in Excel. We also see the short date here and the long date format. So now we know that these are actually date values here. And of course we can use these in pivot tables to do get date grouping. We can also use these in formulas and our filters as well. So it's great to convert those uh, text-based values to dates for additional features and analysis anytime you're working with a data set like this. And this technique with text to columns will also work if your dates are in the same format as your local date format. So I've changed my date format in the operating system back to the United States format, which again is month, day, year. And if we run that same process again, I'll hit control shift down arrow to select all of these cells. We'll again go to the uh, data tab on the ribbon and choose text to columns. Let's quickly run through this process, hit next here twice, and then we're going to change this to date. And again, this will be month, day, year. It'll just default to this uh, because we're in the US, US based dates, and we have that format applied. And that matches this format here. So we'll just leave that as is. 
hit finish, and that again will do that conversion process. We can go to the Home tab there, uh, check those on the Number Format dropdown, and we can see that we now have dates here in these cells. So the point there is that text to columns should work regardless of what your local date format is and the date format that the data is currently in. And of course, if your uh, formats are the same, then check out that previous video I had on using find and replace. It's another great little trick that will help uh, clean up this data and convert it to dates. So I hope that helps. Of course, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you are watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.